found myself with a little bit of extra time this morning, so I thought I might talk about something that uh, is kind of relevant to what's going on currently in American society. That thing is protests and riots. I particularly wanted to talk about peaceful protests since I think most people would agree that riots are bad. Riots, looting, things of that sort are criminal, they're bad, and as far as anybody can tell, uh, or will say, they're not protected by any of the uh, rights that we have, whether it's in, under the Constitution or under other, uh, other, other documents or whatever you want to say. The point here is, uh, though, that you, when you talk about this, you have to kind of separate peaceful protesters from people who are rioting. People who are rioting are a problem. People who are peaceful protesters uh, may not be doing right, may not have everything right. Uh, but in general, what they're doing is they're trying to say things that are meaningful uh, to what they see is going on in society. Uh, I'm going to warn you, I've noticed that I'm being a little bit uh, prone to use uh in my speech, and I'm trying very hard to stop that, <laughs> and sadly it's kind of working in reverse. Anyway, one of the things that I pointed out in one of my previous blog posts is that people are not... There's no problem with the idea that people are protesting on the one hand, but on the other hand, there's lots of times when people protest things, when people say things, and the things that they say, the things that they're protesting for or against, are not really the problems that they're cracked up to be. And I know a lot of people are concerned about police violence, for example, against uh, particularly black people. And I understand that, but the problem is if you look at the data, what you see when you, and, and I'm talking here about statistics, the problem is that people tend to allow themselves to look at anecdotal information and they tend to use that anecdotal information to form and forge their perspectives on things and that's really a bad idea. And the reason it's a bad idea, there, there are two, a couple actual re reasons that that's a bad idea. The first of these is that a lot of the information that first comes out about a lot of incidences that you're going to hear about is not accurate. And what that means is you'll see and hear things and you'll find out later, wait, what was said here was not what actually happened. This is, you know... You look at, and I, I'm not going to get into the details on that. I've done that in my in some of my blog posts, but I'm not going to do that now. What I am going to do is say that you really, the problem is unless you really take the time to wait and see what various investigations come up with, you're going to be working on data that's not accurate. It's going to be inaccurate information. The second problem is that in lots of instances um, there are people out there who don't really even know why they're there. Uh, you know, that. so the problem is that, that uh, you need to really have an idea exactly. You need to have a solid idea what it is that you're doing. And I'll be honest with you, I think that in a lot of instances you'd be better to find, find ways to work within the system than you are to try and do things outside of it anyway. Most of the time, it turns out that if you try and do things outside the system, what you're going to do is, is irk people and, and mess with people in ways that you may think are going to, to make your cause more visible or whatever you want to say. But in reality, what you're going to find out is, is a lot of people are going to get really tired really fast. And the very least that's going to happen is they're going to find every way that they can to avoid what you're, what you're doing. And to make things worse, when things actually erupt into violence and so forth, what you're going to learn is that then there's this, this horrible cost. And here's an interesting thing that was pointed out to somebody that I uh, listen to on a regular basis. He pointed out that actually people who are doing things that are, are problematic, that are wrong, those people now are actually being arrested and charged with various crimes as a result of their activities. So I guess what I'm saying is, you know, most of the time, it's probably not wisdom to protest to begin with. 
when it is, please make sure that you're not violent and that you're really trying to do things that are going to be helpful to whatever cause it is that you're supporting. Okay, I'm at about the end of my time, and I guess it's time for me to sign off now. So I'm hoping you're having a good Sunday, and uh, hopefully you'll get a chance to see another one of my videos probably tomorrow. We'll see how that works out. Uh, in the meantime, you definitely can check out my blog and see what I'm saying there. But, uh, you know, have a good day, and, and hope things are going well for you.